hello and welcome to magic autocad in today's tutorial we are going to learn the differences between the join tool and the block tool so let's get started let's go to the line let's first of all make an object like a triangle like that let's make another object a crossing okay so we'll make another triangle crossing this one okay escape so let's try to see you will see that these lines are they got independent length okay they have independent length segments so they are not joined so let's go to the join tool and see first if you can join the lines or the objects you select the join tool then you come here to select R. let's see if it joins enter okay so in this case <clears throat> you will see that only the lines of single object has joined not the two objects okay these are still two independent objects but the lines have joined okay so from here we can draw a conclusion that uh join commands are meant to join lines okay they are meant to join lines not objects so let's go to the block tool and see we'll first of all select the tool then we'll go to the block tool then here let's just enter one then okay okay so you see that in this case these two objects are now joined to one not more two objects they are now sorry they are now blocked to one no more two objects okay so now is one object so when you click at one point you see that all the object will be selected so it's now a single object not two anymore okay let's copy this object to the other way and see copy the object enter let's copy it here and continue our demonstration okay in order to separate this object let's go to let's select the object and go to explode you explode you see that they have been separated okay they are now two separate objects meanwhile this one still remain one object let's furtherly explode the objects okay now we are going to let's go to explode okay now you see that we have come to the initial okay the initial objects so now we have different line line segments now we have different line segments that is the first difference so on this note we can draw a conclusion that the block tools is to block objects okay to block objects to one meanwhile the join tool is to join lines to one not to join objects okay so let's furtherly discover something about the block and the join let's join this other one you go to join then you select enter okay we still have our two different objects then you will see that when you click on the join objects it has this tendency to extend okay to extend the object to expand and contract the object but here you you cannot expand no uh, contract the object okay so here we can learn another lesson that block objects are finished object if you intend to uh, continue modifying an object you don't have to block it okay unlike this one because this one is the blocked meanwhile this one is the join so let's see let's further see how you can go with this one from here 
you can stretch this object okay you click here you can stretch you see that you can stretch okay you can stretch the object it stretches okay you can stretch the object then you can contract the object okay let's completely separate these two objects okay you can change the form in fact you can just play with the object and how you want to play did you see that so just anyhow you, you can change the shape of the object and how you want to do with it just playing with the object okay like that and like that but this one with a blocked object you cannot play with it okay it's already blocked at its final state so you don't block an object if you intend to continue manipulating the object okay another thing you need to note about blocked and join object is that let's go to trim tool okay let's try to trim this object let's try to trim this object let's try to trim this object okay enter okay let's come to the blocked object you will see that this block object you, you you cannot trim okay you cannot alter the block object but this one this one you can trim okay <laughs> with this one you can trim you can trim and trim and trim yeah, you can trim this one you can trim but with this with this block object you cannot trim but with the join object you can trim so that is another example then now let's continue okay we've trimmed or now it's only left with this one let's click on it again you can see that from here you can increase the length of the line okay you can increase the length of the line you see that that is how you increase the length of the line okay you can even separate the lines okay like that you can move the line like that okay like that you can move it anyhow you want to move it okay like that okay you see that we formed another triangle again so that is how <coughs> join objects function but block object cannot function that way let's quickly look at another example let's go to the line then we have an object like this then it has a handle okay as a handle let's call this one a handle okay okay let's consider this is an object then this handle maybe it's too high or too low you want to increase or reduce how do you do let's go to the block select and we'll go to the join tool we join it's now one and in order to contract or expand we go here you see that we can move it upwards and we can move it downwards low okay so that is how it functions you can even move it sideways okay you can move it this way so that is another vivid example and you can twist it if you want okay you can twist it if you want Mm -hmm. you can twist it to anything you can even move this one 
and how you want to do it is okay then bring it back this way here so you see that you can just keep playing with the line okay if you discover the magic behind the line you can just keep playing with it same with this object okay let's but what if you blocked it okay let's explode it and block it okay select explode we got independent lines okay then let's block it and see if it can function that way select block let's enter a name one okay So already blocked. Let's select and see if we can play with it. No, there is no way to extend. Okay. And another one thing you need to know about blocked object is that you cannot add any color. Okay, like let's select to see if we can add a color. Okay, let's go up to here, color, and see. No, it cannot go. But let's join these ones and see. Let's join here and see let's join this one we'll go to join okay so it's join also let's see if we can add a color we'll go up here drop green so you see that it works okay so please i hope that tutorial helped you a lot so if you did enjoy it don't forget to subscribe and like okay and don't forget to write in your comments ask questions on the comment box below thank you very much see you in our next tutorial